Hello students. Now we are on to the 15th lecture and 15th question of amalgamation. Lot of practice has been done. So I will be going a bit fast in this lecture now. And I hope everyone will be able to catch up with that also. Because lot of practice has already been done. Let's kick start with our session now. Question 15 everyone of you take it out. Alpha limited and beta limited agreed to amalgamate by transferring their undertaking to a new company Theta Limited. So Alpha Limited is also going into liquidation that is a transferer company. Beta Limited is also going into a liquidation that is transferer company. Theta Limited is a new company which is purchasing these two companies that is transferee company. Formed for that purpose. Alpha and Beta Limited's balance sheet. Equity shares of rupees 10 each so 4 lakhs divide by 10. 40,000 equity shares are there in alpha, 3 lakhs divided by 10, 30,000 equity shares are there in beta. PNL account 75,000 only in alpha's books, 10% debentures is an external liability 150 in both the books, loan from SBI only in beta, bank overdraft only in alpha and creditors in both the books. In assets we have fixed assets, investments, debtors, stock, now this PNL account on the asset side is a loss. It is a fictitious asset. It is a fictitious asset which as per the new company's format we write it in reserves and surplus as a negative figure. Okay. So a fictitious asset or other non-current asset item that will never be taken over by another company. Cash and bank is an asset. Now it was agreed that Theta Limited will discharge debentures in both the companies after both the companies put comma. By issue of 12% debentures then put comma at 10% premium. This should be the language I repeat. Will discharge debentures in both the companies comma by issue of 12% debentures comma at 10% premium. Now if commas are put at both the places and I ask you. 10% premium are they talking about discharging or issuing they are talking about discharging. Comma means there is an extra information in between. Theta limited will discharge debentures in both the companies at 10% premium. By issue of 12% debentures. By issue of 12% debentures means they are going to be issued at par. And discharge at 10% premium means we are going to pay them 10% more value. But this interpretation only after putting the comma and there is comma in the question. So make the correction in the pamphlet in the question. 10% premium they are talking about discharging the debentures. So agreed value we will get from this. Agreed value of both the companies debentures will be 10% more. And we are going to issue them 12% debentures at will take over other liabilities or both the companies will take over other liabilities means debentures are taken at 10% more value other liabilities loan bank overdraft and creditors will be taken at book values will issue equity shares of rupees 10 each at a premium of rupees 10 per share means can i say the price is 20 the issue price is 20 10 rupees face value plus premium of 10 means we'll be issuing it at 20 rupees to all the equity shareholders. Now if I ask you, listen carefully, how many equity shares will be issued? I repeat, if I ask you, how many equity shares will be issued? You don't have the answer. You'll say the details of number of shares is missing. The details of number of shares is missing in the question. It is not given. It has some relevance which I'll discuss later on. But keep it in mind. The detail of the payment of equity shares is missing. What detail of payment of equity shares is missing? Number of shares are not given so we cannot find its value. I repeat number of shares are not given. And no exchange ratio is given for 3 shares, 2 shares will be issued, etc. So we cannot find the value of equity shares. 
how will we do we'll see that later for the purpose of transfer the assets to be revalued as under investment debtor stock goodwill and this 75000 is probably for okay i'm sorry uh, there is misprinting in the question fixed assets these are the values investments these are the values debtors these are the values stock these are the values make the correction in the pamphlet goodwill these are the values okay fixed assets 4 lakh 75 and 445 investments 1 lakh 35 and 6 lakhs debtors 60000 and 40000 stock 50000 and 30000 goodwill 75000 and nothing for beta calculate purchase consideration for both the companies and then prepare realization account and equity shareholders account in the books of alpha limited there are two transferal companies alpha and beta purchase consideration is as in the workings for both the companies but ledger accounts are as only in the books of alpha limited this is how it can come in your exams also because otherwise the question becomes too long so they will ask you only some part of solution in your exams here alpha limited but however though they have asked only realization account and equity shareholders account we will be making transfer company theta limited's account also and equity shares of transfer company means equity shares of theta limited account also also pass journal entries in theta limited books that is transfer company's books now which three things we have to decide in the beginning you all already know is it merger or purchase method of purchase consideration and if it is merger pooling of interest method if it is purchase purchase method of accounting merger all assets and liabilities are taken over yes all assets are taken over their agreed values are given liabilities also debentures agreed value is given and it's mentioned that they have taken over other liabilities also first condition is satisfied but second condition at book value is not satisfied all assets are taken at different values given over here fixed assets 4 lakh 75 445 until goodwill 75 second condition of merger is not satisfied so it is amalgamation in the nature of purchase now which method of purchase consideration yes net payment method no it is not net payment method here we have net asset method of purchase consideration i repeat here we have net asset method of purchase consideration now understand it why because the details of number of shares are missing net payment method means all the details should be given do we have how many shares to be issued no whenever the details of any payment are missing we have to find purchase consideration by net asset method and whatever purchase consideration we get i repeat whatever purchase consideration we get we will divide it by 20 rupees to get the number of shares because shares are issued at 10 plus premium of 10 so first we will find purchase consideration by net asset method agreed value of assets taken over minus agreed value of liabilities taken over whatever purchase consideration we get by net asset method will be divided by 20 rupees to get the number of shares to be issued when would we have applied net payment method when the number of equity shares would have been given or that exchange ratio would have been given for three shares two shares are issued for two shares three shares are issued something like that here the details of number of shares are missing so we have to apply net asset method and because it is merger we will be following purchase method of accounting let's take up with the workings working notes two workings are involved here one is of debentures and second is of purchase consideration so debentures we have 10 percent 1 lakh 50 thousand 1 lakh 50 thousand in both the books alpha limited and beta limited
टेन परसेंट डिबेंचर्स वी हैव वन लैख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड ऑफ अल्फा एज वेल एज वन लैख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड ऑफ बीटा Now, as we discussed that they are going to be discharged at ten percent premium, so we are going to pay them ten percent more amount. We'll add ten percent premium. Means fifteen thousand more we will pay to alpha, as well as fifteen thousand more to beta. So we will be paying one lakh sixty-five thousand to alpha, and. One lakh sixty-five thousand to beta. This is their agreed values. Now, how many number of debentures will be issued for this? <clears throat> number of debentures to be issued. Now they are going to be issued at par, and also which debentures? Forgot to mention, new company they are going to issue twelve percent debentures. So number of twelve percent debentures to be issued at par. One lakh sixty five plus one lakh sixty five, three lakh ten thousand. Sorry. One lakh sixty five plus one lakh sixty five, three lakh thirty thousand. Divided by hundred face value, because they are going to be issued at par. Three thousand three hundred debentures will be issued by new company total to both the companies. Okay. Second working we will make of purchase consideration. By which method? Net asset method because the details of payment of equity shares are missing. so purchase consideration by net asset method we'll do it separately because we will find separate purchase considerations for alpha and beta so we'll do it in columnar form for alpha limited and beta limited now how do we find the purchase consideration by net asset method agreed values of Assets taken over. Okay, agreed values of assets taken over. Directly we get it from this paragraph. All assets values are given. Fixed assets are given here. Investments are given here. Debtors are given here. Stock is given here. And even goodwill, etc., etc. is given. Only cash and bank we have to take at same time. So first we take from this very first fixed assets. What are the agreed values? Four lakh seventy five thousand and four lakh forty five thousand. Four lakh seventy five thousand. Four lakh forty five thousand. After fixed assets, we have investments. Now, what are the values of investments? One lakh thirty-five thousand and okay, this six lakh. So, if we make a correction, it should be sixty thousand. Cancel this zero. Okay, it should be sixty thousand. Cancel this zero. Cancel it because you all can see here investments are only seventy-five thousand. They cannot be valued as six lakhs. And same way here, put one more zero. These investments are one lakh. Against one lakh, they are valued at one lakh thirty-five thousand. So here, make a correction in balance sheet and make it one lakh instead of ten thousand. Put one more zero. And this seventy-five thousand are valued as sixty thousand. So here, you all cancel one zero. Okay, make this correction. One lakh thirty-five thousand and sixty thousand. Agreed value are one lakh thirty-five thousand and. Sixty thousand. Then after investments, what do we have? Debtors sixty thousand and forty thousand. 
okay debtors 60,000 and 40,000 then after debtors what do we have stock 50,000 and 30,000 stock 50,000 and 30,000 Then after stock, what do we have? Goodwill, 75,000 and nil. Goodwill, 75,000 and nil. And then after goodwill, do we have anything else? Yes. From the balance sheet, we will take cash and bank at book value itself. For cash and bank, agreed values will never be given. So cash and bank will take at book value itself. 1 lakh 20,000 and 90,000. Okay, cash and bank 1 lakh 20,000 and 90,000. Now, agreed value of assets taken over alpha limited 4 lakh 75,000 plus 1 lakh 35,000 plus 60,000 plus 50,000 plus 75,000 plus 1 lakh 25, 1 lakh 20,000 that is 9 lakh 15,000. All of you mark it as A. And for beta limited it is 4 lakh 45,000 plus 60,000 plus 40,000 plus 30,000 plus 90,000. That is six lakh sixty five thousand. Now, from that, all of you give the heading less agreed value of liabilities taken over. Give the heading agreed values of liabilities taken over. In that very first, we have 10% debentures for which we have done working note one. Okay, working note one one lakh sixty five thousand, one lakh sixty five thousand. Agreed values are one lakh sixty five thousand and one lakh sixty five thousand. Now, for other things, we don't have agreed values, so we'll take loan from SBI only in beta limited books fifty thousand at book value. Loan from SBI only in beta limited books that is fifty thousand. Then, after loan from SBI, we have Bank overdraft only in Alpha Limited books 60,000. Bank overdraft only in Alpha Limited books 60,000. Then after bank overdraft, creditors 45,000 and 85,000. Okay, creditors we have in both the books. Forty five thousand and eighty five thousand. Now, what are the total agreed value of liabilities taken over? One lakh sixty five thousand plus sixty thousand plus forty five thousand, two lakh seventy thousand, and in beta limited books, one lakh sixty five thousand plus fifty thousand plus eighty five thousand, three lakhs. Market as B, agreed value of liabilities taken over. Now what is purchase consideration? Agreed value of liabilities taken over, sorry, assets taken over, that is A, minus agreed value of liabilities taken over, that is B. So for alpha limited, it is 9,15,000, okay, agreed value of assets taken over, minus 2,70,000, agreed value of liabilities taken over, 6,45,000. And what is it for beta limited? 6,65,000 agreed value of assets taken over minus 3 lakhs agreed value of liabilities taken over. That is 3,65,000. Now this is purchase consideration. And how will we find the mode of payment number of equity shares to be issued? As it is given that shares are to be issued at premium of 10 rupees we will divide this by 20 rupees issue price to get number of equity shares. So 6,45,000 
divide by 20 32,250 yes 32,250 equity shares will be issued and 3,65,000 divide by 20 Okay, three lakh sixty-five thousand divided by twenty. Eighteen thousand two hundred and fifty equity shares will be issued to be delimited. So these are the purchase considerations and number of shares. Now, once again, why did we apply net asset method? Because this mode of payment number of equity shares for both the companies was missing. So we applied net asset method for obtaining purchase consideration and dividing by that by twenty rupees. We got the number of equity shares to be issued. Now you'll pause the video and make this formats. What is asked in the books of Alpha Limited? You are asked only realization account and equity shareholders account. Make around three fourth page realization account, eight to ten lines equity shareholders account. Now even though it is not asked, make transferee company Theta Limited accounts four lines, equity shares of Theta Limited transferee company account four lines format. We don't have to make cash and bank account here because we have not received any purchase consideration in the form of cash as we did in the past few questions. Also, no sale of assets, no payment of liabilities, no liquidation expenses paid by transferor company, no cash transaction is taking place in the books of transferor company. So cash and bank account is not required to be paid. Pause the video and make this formats, then play the video and then do the accounting entries. I hope everyone has made the formats, so be attentive. First entry, realization account debit to assets account. Realization account debit, so in realization account, we will write on debit side to assets account. Now, what are assets? We have to take at book value, so take these values given, and we have to do it only for alpha limited, so these values, okay? Not for beta right now. Ledger accounts are asked only in the books of alpha. So fixed assets, four lakhs. only alpha limited books okay then investments 1 lakh keep it in mind first six entries are to be passed at book values values given in the balance sheet because we are closing the account so we have to close it with the same value appearing in the balance sheet debtors 65,000 Then after debtors, stock 45,000. Then after stock, PL account is a fictitious asset, so that will go to equity shareholders account. Keep it in mind. Sixth entry, which we have not been having so far, that entry. Cash and bank, 1,20,000. Even cash and bank will be transferred to realization. We always transfer it, but we don't have to make the ledger account here. So 4 lakhs plus 1 lakh plus 65,000 plus 45,000 plus 1 lakh 20,000. Same must be the total of balance sheet also 7 lakh 30,000. Okay. Now second entry, liabilities account debit to realization. To realization, so realization account on credit side by liabilities account. That includes how many liabilities in Alpha Limited's books, debentures, bank overdraft and creditors. Loan is not there in Alpha Limited books and we are doing the accounting only in Alpha Limited books right now. So 10% debentures, 
60,000 of bank overdraft, 45,000 of creditors. So 150, 210, 2 lakh 55,000. Okay, second entry is done liabilities to realization. Now third entry, equity share capital to equity shareholders. How much Alpha Limited's equity share capital? 4 lakhs. Two equity shareholders, so equity shareholders on credit side by equity share capital account 4 lakhs. Then after equity share capital reserves, reserves to equity shareholders and reserves we have PL account 75,000. That's it, only one reserve. So profit and loss account debit to equity shareholders means equity shareholders on credit side by profit and loss account. And what amount of profit and loss account? 75,000. Then after reserves, preference share capital we don't have and fictitious assets we don't have in alpha limited books. We do have fictitious asset but it is only in beta limited books. PNL account asset side loss is a fictitious asset but that is not in alpha limited books. It is only in beta limited books. Right now we are doing entry in the books of alpha limited. There is no fictitious asset. So first six closing entries are done. Now two entries of purchase consideration. Transfer company Theta Limited to realization with purchase consideration. Alpha Limited's purchase consideration is 6,45,000. So to realization means realization account on credit side by Theta Limited account in bracket purchase consideration and in bracket working note 2. 6,45,000 and Theta Limited account debit so in Theta Limited account on debit side to realization account six lakh forty five thousand now purchase consideration received how have we received this six lakh forty five thousand entirely in the form of equity shares okay entirely in the form of equity shares so equity shares comes in debit what comes in equity shares of theta limited account debit theta limited is the giver credit the giver to theta limited account to theta limited account so theta limited account on credit side by equity shares of theta limited account Six lakh forty five thousand and equity shares of theta limited account debit. So, equity shares of theta limited account debit side to theta limited account six lakh forty five thousand. Okay, purchase consideration two entries are done. No entry of sale of assets, all assets are taken over. No entry of payment of liabilities, all liabilities are taken over. No entry of payment of expenses, no expenses are given in the question. And no entry for payment to preference shareholders, preference shareholders are not there. Directly now realization account will be closed and transferred to equity shareholders account. So credit side is more. 2,55,000 plus 6,45,000 that comes to 9 lakhs. Nine lakhs minus seven lakh thirty thousand, so one lakh seventy thousand is the amount of profit. Two equity shareholders account in bracket profit. Opposite side in equity shareholders account by realization account in bracket profit 1,70,000 
Now I told you after realization is transferred, whatever other accounts balances remain will be transferred to equity shareholders account. Theta Limited gets close to 6,45,000 on both the sides. Equity shares of Theta Limited will be transferred to equity shareholders account. So 6,45,000. Will be transferred to equity shareholders account by equity shareholders account in bracket balancing figure opposite side in equity shareholders account to equity shares of theta limited account Six lakh forty-five thousand, and now equity shareholders account must tally; it must get closed. So debit side six lakh forty-five thousand, and credit side also you all can see, it comes to six lakh forty-five thousand. Okay, four lakh plus seventy-five, four seventy-five plus one seventy-six lakh forty-five. So entries are done in the books of accounting is done in the books of Alpha Limited. Now, if you pause the video and make the formats of entries in the books of Theta Limited, we'll do the journal entries in the books of Theta Limited. Pause the video and make the formats. Yes, I hope everyone has done the formats. Be attentive now. First entry in the books of Theta Limited: Business comes in debit. What comes in? So, business purchase account debit. And amount is payable to the liquidators of transferer company credit the payable so to liquidator of Alpha Limited account as well as to liquidator of Beta Limited account. Now what amounts? Alpha Limited six lakh forty five thousand, Beta three lakh sixty five thousand. Six lakh forty five thousand to Alpha Limited as we have done in working note two, and three lakh sixty five thousand to Beta Limited. What is the total purchase consideration? Six lakh forty five thousand plus three lakh sixty five thousand. That is ten lakh ten thousand. In bracket, you all can write. We get this from working note two. B. Business of Alpha Limited and Beta Limited purchased. Now, second entry is for assets and liabilities taken over. We don't have to make any workings here for goodwill because goodwill's value is already given in the question. And also keep it in mind, when do we make that workings for goodwill? Only when there is net payment method or lump sum method. Why we don't have to make it in net asset method? Because purchase consideration itself, we find agreed value of assets minus liabilities. So how will you compare it with net assets? Net assets are going to come same only. Do you all get this point? How did we find purchase consideration? Agreed value of assets minus agreed value of liabilities. What do we do in second entry? We compare purchase consideration with net assets. Here purchase consideration is equal to net assets. I repeat. Here purchase consideration is equal to net assets because purchase consideration itself is obtained as agreed value of assets minus agreed value of liabilities. So you are not paying anything more or less. You are paying equal to net assets itself. And in that goodwill's value is already given. So we don't have to find goodwill or capital reserves workings here. Directly pass the second entry. 
Fixed assets account debit 475 plus 445. Now here you have to combine both the values. Okay. Fixed assets account debit. Both the companies are taken over. So 4 lakh 75 plus 4 lakh 45 thousand. Okay, four eight eight seventy nine ten nine lakh twenty thousand. Then investments one lakh thirty five thousand plus sixty thousand. Investments account debit one lakh thirty five thousand plus sixty thousand. One lakh ninety five thousand. Then after investments, debtors account debit sixty thousand plus forty thousand one lakh. Then after debtors. Stock account debit fifty thousand plus thirty thousand eighty thousand. Then after stock, goodwill account debit seventy five thousand plus nil seventy five thousand. So this goodwill. Is already given the agreed value of goodwill is already given in adjustments. Okay, that's why we don't have to make the working to find goodwill or capital reserve. And in net asset method, even if goodwill's value is not given in the adjustments, you don't have to make it because purchase consideration will be equal to net assets. Neither will it be more nor it will it be less. Then cash and bank one twenty plus ninety two lakh ten thousand. After cash and bank to liabilities, so in that to liabilities to ten percent debentures, one lakh sixty five thousand plus one lakh sixty five thousand, three lakh thirty thousand. Then we have to loan from SBI only in beta limited books. So the loan from SBI account only in beta limited books we have fifty thousand to bank overdraft only in alpha limited books we have to bank overdraft okay only in alpha limited books we have that is sixty thousand. <clears throat> then to creditors account we have in both the books so creditors will be 45000 plus 85000 130000 And to business purchase account, with the purchase consideration of ten lakh ten thousand, what you debited in first entry. Now here you all will verify debit is equal to credit or not. So nine lakh twenty thousand plus one lakh ninety five thousand plus one lakh plus eighty thousand plus. Seventy-five thousand plus two lakh ten thousand. You all will see it comes to fifteen lakh eighty thousand. That must be equal to credit amount. So three lakh thirty thousand plus fifty thousand plus sixty thousand plus 
1 lakh 30,000 plus 10 lakh 10,000 that comes to 15 lakh 80,000. Okay, just to cross verify. Being assets and liabilities of Alpha Limited and Beta Limited taken over. Now third entry is for settlement of purchase consideration. So liquidators are the receivers, debit the receivers. Liquidator of Alpha Limited account debit with 6,45,000. Liquidator of Beta Limited account debit with 3,65,000. And how are we paying this 6 lakh 45 and 3 lakh 60 thousand by issuing 32 thousand 250 plus 18 thousand 250 you can do the total over here 32 250 plus 18 thousand 250 we are giving them 50 thousand 500 equity shares consolidated to both the companies total now since they are issued at 10 rupees premium here you all can see since they are issued at 10 rupees premium 50,500 into 10 will go to equity share capital face value and 50,500 total shares issued into premium 10 rupees will go to security premium so to equity share capital account fifty thousand five hundred into 10 5 lakh 5000 and to security premium account again 50500 into 10 5 lakh 5000 okay I repeat 32250 shares issued to alpha 18250 shares issued to beta total 50500 shares are issued Multiplied by 10 rupees of face value will go to share capital and same 50,500 multiplied by 10 rupees of premium will go to security premium. Being purchase consideration settled. Now, liquidation expenses we don't have in the question. Then issue of shares to the public we don't have in the question. Other establishment preliminary or registration expenses we don't have in the question. So directly settlement of liability. Against 10% debentures we are giving 12% debentures and as I said to you we are going to issue them at par. So simply this 12% debentures account we have to reverse and debit to close that. So 12, 10% debentures account debit 330000 Okay, 10% debentures account debit 330000 Against that we are giving to 12% debentures account 330000 Being 12% debentures issued against ten percent debentures. Okay, being twelve percent debentures issued against ten percent debentures. All the entries are done. We don't have the entry of statutory reserve. There is no statutory reserve. So 10 lakh 10,000 
plus 15 lakh 80 thousand we had that total already plus again 10 lakh 10 thousand plus 3 lakh 30 thousand so 39 lakh 30 thousand is the total of German so all the entries are covered in this question now next question again you all have to try on your own what is given in the timetable verify that properly that is again a question on merger only so I'm giving you simple questions to try on your own that will be all in today's lecture bye everyone see you take care